So in this video lecture, I'm going to provide a handwriting examination kind of example uh, and some things to look for along with some handwriting samples that we can look at together. So first off, the goal of handwriting examination in general, as you may have uh, determined, is to find who wrote the particular article, who is the author, um, and to authenticate and to make a match. Um, and ad identify potential forgeries that may occur. This is, may sound really easy, uh, but there's a lot of little details that go into it and a lot of attention to detail that you need to have. So it's the same author. If two writings uh, are the same product of one person, if their similarities are unique and no explainable differences are found. So we see the different books here, we see different kind of authors. Things might look a little different, even though it could be from the same person. So we're trying to find what uh, defines or what matches up to be identified as the same author. So there's a certain level of complexity uh, that's required here. This is where it gets kind of a little bit more interesting and can also become frustrating at times. Uh, there's question writing uh, similar to the specimen writing. So we have kind of a, a stock example to compare to and we have the question amount. However, uh, this example is not complex and therefore the probability of observing common features is limited. In this example, we only have uh, kind of like one little statement here. We have one kind of little symbol made. Uh, very hard to make a identification to any great degree of certainty when you have something very limited as we see here. Now, steps of handwriting analysis will want to analyze the specimen or the known writing with a determination of the characteristics found in the known. And that's that specimen writing. We know who made that. Um, so that's our source of comparison. We then also have the question or what's example, the unknown. We want to analyze that and determine some of its characteristics. So we have to go back. We have that first, we analyze what we know uh, from the known author and we have that kind of questioned writing, we want to do the same steps of going through and analyzing that handwriting. We then want to take those two and do a comparison on those characteristics. What did, what did we see that are similar? The features are similar in this case and the features are dissimilar um, in this example here. So you're looking at some of those letters, how they're made, some of the spacing. Now here again, we do have something a little different. We do have kind of three words in a row and kind of stacked on top here, but looking within the letters, we can kind of see the H uh, just to start there, how the Y is are, are made. Here we see a lot of uh, dissimilarities here. Um, so this would indicate these are very likely made by the same person. These are probably not made by the same person. We want to have this evaluation process uh, if, of the evidence, including similarities and dissimilarities between the questioned and known. There is support, proposition of, uh, of these were made and formed by the same or similar motor memories, and these were likely not formed by the same motor memories. So again, making this comparison between the two. So here we have uh, steps of handwriting analysis. The document examiner's job is to do this. Uh, they must have enough exemplars to make determination of whether or not two samples match. So we have genuine signatures and disguised signatures. I'll give the example here of the picture of the same person. One zoomed in, one's further out. Uh, being able to find some of these similarities in handwriting and analysis will I determine similar features. Just as if you look at this image quickly, you could probably say, oh, of course that's the same person. Handwriting analysis person of skilled can kind of do the same thing. Now, steps of hearing analysis, we want to know the writing with the de determination of characteristics found in the unknowns. We want to analyze that, the question in unknown writings. We want to offer that comparison between the two. We want to evaluate that comparison for evidence, including the similarities and dissimilarities between those. And the document examiner will be the one that must have enough exemplars to make that um, adequate comparison between the two. Now the source of these exemplars that I mentioned, best handwriting uh, versus how quick you can write this sentence. So if you look at the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, it's a very common uh, sentence that's used simply because it uses every letter of the alphabet. Um, so that's a great one to practice or have your friends write or have your parents write or someone you know uh, to be able to offer this comparison of every letter of the alphabet. Now, In example one, if we look at this, we notice the distinctive cues. Uh, we can kind of see that um, the Q definitely has something a little bit more unique to it as potentially some other letters like the G's, uh, but this is just one example of something that we can look at and compare. Looking at a comparison, let's compare this to example two uh, and see how the Z's are a little different where they have that kind of little middle kind of like line through them. So again, something else that is something to look at. 
And lastly, just example three here, looking at some of the other things you can take into consideration, the baseline alignment, the connecting strokes, the height relationships, and structural differences, written with a little bit of a different sentence, um, words here. Um, just, again, something act as comparison. So the more samples you can see, like anything, the better you'll get at making comparisons and picking out some of the small details.